Hey guys, welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews. I'm Ben, and today we have got a very interesting comparison for you guys. We have got 22 cal brake barrel versus 22 long rifle. I see a lot of velocities advertised on the boxes of these brake barrels that are somewhat comparable to what you guys might see out of a 22 long rifle. So I know when I first got started in air gunning, I was thinking, man, these brake barrels, they're just as powerful as your 22 long rifle because I'm looking at velocity. But guys, there's a whole lot more that goes into power on target than just velocity. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. We're gonna shoot this brake barrel into a piece of plywood. Then we're gonna shoot this 22 long rifle into that same piece of plywood. And you guys are gonna see a very big difference between the impact that's created. Come on, let's go get it done. All right, guys, so I've got my Gamo Magnum. I'm trying some of these Raptor, these Gamo Raptor pellets. These are lead free and they go very quick. Got my Gamo Magnum Gen 2 right here with the swarm. All right, guys, so I got my old school Savage over under here with the 22 long rifle on top, 410 on bottom. And what I'm using here is I've got these blazers. These are made by CCI. So here we're getting 1188 feet with a 40 grain bullet. Now, out of the gamma we just shot, we were getting really only about 50 feet per second less than that. But guys, we're shooting a nine grain pellet. Now that's a big difference, 50 feet per second that's not much, but from nine grains to 40 grains, that is a big difference. And that's really what's gonna make a huge difference on that piece of plywood. So let's go ahead and get that out next. All right, guys, so that was pretty dang cool to see. I think that obviously the 22 long rifle has a lot more power than your brake barrel. Now that's a Magnum brake barrel. That's the Gamo Magnum. That really is one of the most powerful brake barrels available for you guys right now in a 22 caliber. But you can see that even that thing pushing the fastest that you can get it up to is not anywhere near what the power is out of a regular 22 long rifle. Now, if you guys are interested in what the actual foot pound calculations are for any given pellet, any given bullet, round, whatever you want to know, head on over to pyramidair.com, search for their foot pound calculator. And once you get there, you can enter in the weight in grains, the velocity, a whole bunch of different things guys and get all kinds of cool calculations for what your energy is out of any given round that you're shooting so go ahead and check that out if you guys want to learn more about what the differences are in actual foot pounds but i think we can see obviously here with a visual example of this plywood those 22 long rifles were just blasting right through it going on out the backside taking a big chunk of wood with them when they left and definitely just this this plywood was was no match for them now moving back over to that brake barrel shooting those lightweight lead-free ammo so that we could get it up in that velocity but it just didn't have the foot pounds the energy needed to pass through that board it made a pretty good sink into the wood definitely that pellet is sunk deep into that plywood but nowhere near coming through and definitely guys not even a shadow of the energy that a regular 22 long
long rifle is putting out. So there you have it, guys. For any of you out there that were interested to know what is the difference between those brake barrels that I see on the shelves in the big box stores claiming these big velocities and what a regular 22 long rifle can do, you can see that definitely the brake barrels, they put out those velocities, but the pellets, they weigh a lot less than what you're shooting out of a 22 long rifle, and that translates into less downrange power. Brake barrels can still be a very effective hunting tool and, of course, an awesome backyard plinker. But, guys, don't let those high velocities fool you into thinking that you're going to get even close to the same amount of power out of a brake barrel that you can get, of course, out of a 22 long rifle powder burner. That's it for today, guys. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner. Outdoors, having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too, and I'll see you in the next video.